All right, I'm at Abel Bridge Campground and Store and had a big snafu this morning with my ride. My ride was canceled and uh, just kind of roll with it. Coming down the stairs from the lodge, uh, talk to Goat. And uh, Goat's already done the 100 mile wilderness. Uh, was very kind to drive my vehicle up and drive it back so I will still be hiking to my truck and uh, a little nervous jumping in but uh, Goat assures me that the old man can do it. There she is, Mount Katahdin. I am crossing Abel Bridge and that's where I jump into the 100 mile wilderness where you're supposed to have anywhere from five to ten days worth of food depending on your hiking. Just about to jump on trail and I met Water Queen! And I had heard about Water Queen <laughs> on my drive up to Abel Bridge and what a delight to meet her. She's a delightful lady doing trail magic. She's a through hiker and uh, has re-hiked some of the sections and she is doing an awesome job at cataloging all the hikers that come through. <laughs> the goal on trail today, first day in the 100 mile wilderness, was just to try to stay dry and avoid, it's kind of the after effects of the hurricane, but we're far enough north that I think that the hurricane did not have as much effect. So my goal today is to hike as far as one of the shelters. There's one at three and a half miles and there's another shelter at 15. And I'll be happy with either of those. If it starts to rain, I'll hold up at that first shelter. But I'd really like to get some more miles in today. The biggest difference that I have noticed on trail from the White Mountains to the 100 mile wilderness is that it is absolutely dead quiet. Must be because of the trees and the moss and the absence of other hikers that the solitude is really quite deafening. Just made it to the Herdbrook lean-to Great spot for me to have a little lunch and then kind of strategize for what the end of the day looks like. Got some other hikers coming in. My next stop is a place called Rainbow Ledges, which has a little bit of an ascent, not terrible. It's been fairly gradual. And the 100 mile wilderness has been a welcome relief. It feels like walking on a carpet, the needles. You have to watch for roots and some rocks, but it's been good. Something that you may not know about me. I get sentimentally attached to things like the squirrel brand crescent wrench that I have in my toolbox that I've had since I worked at a steel mill in college. Or like my Charlie Brown coffee cup. Or like a London t-shirt that I picked up at a garage sale, but I just really like it. So I have a tendency to get attached sentimentally to something. In case you wonder what you eat out on the trail, mostly while you're walking during the day, you want things that are easy, easy to eat, uh, easily accessible. And some folks will cook something warm every night. I have not done any hot food yet on the trail, but now that I'm in the 100 mile wilderness, I did bring my pot and my stove with me. So tonight I'm gonna try this. These are called rice sides from Nor, and I'll try that in my pot as well as some oatmeal. I like eating kind bars, and uh, they just, for me, give me good energy. And also have some granola packed. And it's important if you sweat a lot, especially on certain days, that you drink something that's going to replace your electrolytes. And uh, this particular brand that I'm drinking also gives you some sodium so that your legs don't cramp. This spot is called the Ledges, which is a little bit of a high spot in the 100 mile wilderness and gives you one of your views of Katahdin. Well, I'm going to close out the video here and despite getting a light start, ended up putting in some good miles and I'm going to stealth camp somewhere along this lake 
just a gorgeous spot. The wind kind of laid down. The view is beautiful and the sound of the water is just mesmerizing. Thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Uh, today I was able to get in over a 10 mile day and that's a little better than I hoped for as late as I got started.